Hi, creative friends. Denise from Salvaged Inspirations, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm sharing how to turn a beat-up Facebook marketplace find into an updated two-tone painted dresser. So just let me get set up, and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun part. So I bought this dresser off Facebook Marketplace well over a year ago, and the ad said it was in really good shape. <laughs> but unfortunately, when we drove all the way out there, it, it just wasn't. So it ended up sitting in my garage until Nick repaired the top and the drawers, and then it came down to my studio for more cosmetic fix-ups. Upon taking a good look, someone had scratched their name into the side. Um, it had holes and divots and cracks and gouges on the top. Um, and even the sides, both sides, there was missing veneer. Even the inside was pretty beat up because these drawers looked really bad. So I removed the vintage hardware and gave this piece a really good cleaning with a TSP substitute, making sure to get the inside and the out. To fix everything that was wrong with this dresser, I did it in a two-part system or a two-part step, and that was using Bondo to fill in the large hardware holes, uh, to fill in the large gaps, the missing veneer, everything that was super visible. I used Bondo, waited for it to dry, sanded, and then primed. This is a great way to actually see all the little leftover scratches, divots, uh, anything, the tiny, tiny, meticulous stuff that wood fill fills very easily. So if you're ever stumped, uh, just prime it and you can always put wood fill over the primer, sand and reprime as I'm doing here. Here's what the dresser looked like once everything was filled, sanded and double primed. Now it's ready for paint. Then I sprayed two coats of this gorgeous Endless Shore all-in-one silk mineral paint. And I just wanted to mention, I've had a few of you ask why I use primer before using the silk all-in-one paint when it already has a built-in primer. And the answer is because I rarely know what kind of paint, what brand of paint, what kind of paint, or what color I'm going to be using before I prep a piece of furniture. While I'm working on a piece of furniture, filling, uh, sanding, and priming, that's when my wheels start turning and I, I have a feel for the piece, what I want to do with it. So then the color usually comes to me, but I rarely know beforehand. However, if you know that you're going to be using this all-in-one silk mineral paint and you know exactly what color, no priming is needed because the primer and the top coat is included. And as always, I'll include all the links to the products that I use in the show more box and description down below. So if you want to go check out this paint, you're more than welcome to. So I left the two coats of Endless Shore to dry for 24 hours overnight. And then I came back the next day. And to create a two-tone paint finish, you have to block off or tape off your piece. I started by measuring my design where I actually wanted the blocking to go. And then I masked the dresser. And this was my first time using this easy mask tape and drape. And I have to say, I loved it. It was super easy to apply. Uh, the tape adhered really well, and I didn't have any issues removing it either. And in just a minute, I'll show you what I always do to make sure I never have any issues removing painter's tape. To ensure I got a really crisp, clean, 
line for this two-toned furniture, I sealed in for a crisp, crisp line. So what I did was I used an artist brush and I brushed on a very thin coat of top coat. And this prevents the paint from bleeding under the tape. And again, it creates a perfect crisp line. I mean, there's nothing worse than when you put in all this work, you've blocked off, you've used painter's tape, you've painted over top, you remove that tape and it's all kind of seeping underneath. It just looks really, really messy. So for any sort of striping work, color blocking, two-tone, if you seal in the tape, it will give you a nice, crisp, lovely line. For my second color, I chose Hampton Hampton, <laughs> Hampton. <laughs> sorry, I have a cold and it's not coming out properly. Hampton Olive, and I mixed it with my Endless Shore. I would say, I didn't measure, but I would say it was about two thirds Hampton, Hampton Olive and about one third Endless Shore. I mixed them together in my painter's cup. And as you can see, I also strained the paint. I, I strained both paints just to make sure that this finish turned out flawless through the paint gun. A quick tip when painting two-tone furniture is creating a custom color using a little bit of the base color that you've used, especially if you're using like a neutral, whether it's a white, a cream, a gray, a beige. If you mix that into your complementary color, even if it's just a little bit, you'll notice that it will tie in the two colors beautifully. I went ahead and sprayed two coats of this custom color color on the top of this dresser. And while the second coat was still wet, I went ahead and removed my painter's tape. And here's my little quick tip for removing any sort of painter's tape. Use heat. Whether it's a heat gun, whether it's a hair blower or, or any sort of warmth that you're going to put on that painter's tape, it will help soften the adhesion or loosen up the adhesion and it'll ensure that your painter's tape comes off really nicely as you see here. Look at this gorgeous crisp line. This is always the most exciting part when doing stripes or two-tone furniture, seeing how they look side by side. To finish the piece off, I found these four inch brass handles on Amazon and I think they work beautifully with these two colors. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, the inside of the drawers really needed <laughs> some freshening up as well. So here's another tip for you. If you have really sad looking drawers, the insides are beat up, all you have to do is sand them down and then take some of this Big Mama's butter and a large brush or a soft cloth and just rub it into the drawers. I'm telling you, this makes such a huge difference. It makes drawers go from so ugly and crappy looking to just absolutely gorgeous. Then you just wipe the excess off with a clean lint-free cloth and they are raring to go. You can put your delicates in there. Uh, once it dries, everything is safe to put back into the drawers and they look fantastic. So let's take another look at the before and here's the after. I have to say, I love the way everything came together on this piece. The little scallop details, the two-tone colors working together, the brass hardware, I think it all came together beautifully. And I couldn't be more happy that this piece gets a second life. I really can't wait to hear what you think. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this makeover and if you've ever tried or have tried a two-tone furniture makeover. Also, feel free to visit me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. You can also find me on all my socials. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now, guys.